literally first time trying to vlog and someone comes up to me. This is why I can't do YouTube, guys. What's your ideal type? Oh my god. What's your go-to boba order? Do you prefer to make the first move? Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Fiona and you have absolutely no idea who I am. So I thought today I would take you guys on a day in my life in New York City while answering some questions so we can get to know each other. Let's do a little self intro. My name is Fiona. I am 24 years old. I just turned 24 in May. I currently live in New York City, but I just moved here three weeks ago from Boston where I was for the past six years. I'm from California, but I am Taiwanese, so Taiwan always has a place in my heart. I have compiled a list of questions on my phone from Instagram where I asked you guys what you wanted to know about me. So I'm going to be answering these throughout the day. The agenda today is to go to a bakery first to get some breakfast, and then we have a photo shoot at 13 Crosby today. Okay, let's go. What is your full-time job? So a lot of people ask if social media is my full-time job. It is absolutely not. I work full-time in tech, and I'm actually trying to start my own tech agency right now. What is one of your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobbies? Okay, besides like that everyone else says, like sleeping and watching Netflix. I think painting. I really like oil painting and recently I've been getting into like iPad Procreate painting. Which I will probably show you guys someday, maybe, if you want to see it. <laughs> What's your go-to boba order? Oh, I feel like I don't really have a go-to boba order. I always try like random things because I like to be adventurous. But the most basic thing is like probably brown sugar boba. All right, guys, we have arrived in Chinatown. We're going to go to Butler Bake Shop for some pastries before we head out for the shoot. We are super late, but I'm still gonna answer a question. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? I have one baby brother. He's actually not that much of a baby anymore. He's 19 and about to go to college soon. I am okay, so enjoy it, save it forever. And I hope you're having a good evening. I'll talk to you later, bye. Secured the goods. One of you asked me what makes you happiest in life. Literally this dude. I got a triple chocolate croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Sienna, what do you think? We're at 13 Crosby getting ready for the shoot. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> Excuse me, Fiona Lin. I have a question for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So I wanted to ask. Yes. Do you have any tattoos? I do actually. I have one tattoo. It's on my back. Oh, wow. Let me see that. Turn around. I got this literally when I was like 17 or something in high school in China. The most random thing. Took three hours, one hour of me just panicking that they possibly drugged me. Wow. Oh, I like that. Oh my eyes are closed. Guys, 13 Crossy is literally the most fun thing I've ever done. It feels like playing a doll dress up. Look at all the stuff they have. I look like freaking Barbie right now. Fit number two is giving Barbie. Yeah, give, me, give us a little spin. Yeah. <laughs> Fiona, what's yeah. your ideal type? Oh my god. Guys are girls. <laughs> guys are girls? <laughs> okay, for guys, like, I'm really not joking in my TikToks. Like, I do like nerdy boys over, like, sporty boys. I think, like, if it, we're not talking about physical stuff, I like guys who are, like, really passionate about something. Like, I don't care what you're nerdy about. If you can talk about one thing forever, that's, like, super attractive to me. And a guy who's emotionally intelligent, who's in tune with their emotions, like, not afraid to, to cry in front of me. Like, I really hate guys who are, like, all that, like, toxic masculinity. I'm gonna have to censor that. <laughs> Physical, I don't I don't really care. If you look queen, you're fine. What about girls? 
I like cute girls. Like, like small looking cute girls. <laughs> No, I do like okay, the idea. That's my ass. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's preppy, but make it fashion. This is the last outfit. I've never worn a scrunchie this big in my life, but I have a little like vintage, I have no idea what this is, top with a mini skirt. I think at this point, we're all just so tired and dehydrated. I am ready to be done and eat, but I have some really cute pictures that you should see on my Instagram soon. I don't know what that guy just said to me. Third fit. I don't know what this is giving actually, but. Crappy but make it fashion. Yes, kind of like the low season. Okay, I'm chilling while they're shooting. So I'm gonna answer some more questions. Do you prefer to make the first move? Honestly, I don't mind it. Like, I feel like. I, I'm not the shy type. If I know I like someone, I would make the first move. But I don't think I would do that to just someone I see like on the street or at the club, right? Because I need to know who that person is. But if it's someone I know, like someone I've been friends with for a while, I, yeah, I would test the waters. This light though, oh my god, is this golden hour light right here? I'm back here. That shit was so fun. I'm super excited to see the pictures and how they turned out. But. I haven't had anything to eat besides that croissant this morning, so I'm just gonna finish up some questions and probably go to dinner soon. Okay, someone asked, growing up, what was your dream job? Honestly, I feel like everyone had very normal like They wanted to be a teacher or like artist or whatever. I watched too many episodes of Totally Spies and probably too many crime shows with my mom because that was her favorite thing. I wanted to be like an FBI agent or a CIA agent. I wanted to be a spy, but obviously, as, as like a five year old, I didn't know the difference. I just wanted to wear like totally spies, like leather suit <laughs> and have all the cool gadgets. And then I got a lot of questions on social media. A lot of people said, when did you first start social media? How did you start your account? How did you get over the fear of posting? And things like that. Basically, I started social media in quarantine. I had taken like a month off work because I had so much PTO racked up in 2020 that I had to use by the end of the year. Um, and my friends were all like, dude, you should like start Twitch streaming or something like that because that's what everyone was doing, right? Like we were all stuck at home. And I think, I forgot who it was, but some phase of COVID hit again. So I couldn't travel during that time. I thought I would be going somewhere for the month. But I was just so bored at home. And I'm that type of person where I have to be productive. Like I cannot just like not do anything and chill. It's just not my personality. I feel so unproductive. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll start posting on social media. And I started in the niche of fashion because I've always had these like cute outfits with like hair and everything in my head. But as a college student and someone who's in tech now, I never had the chance to do that. Like I literally live in hoodies, sweatpants and like big t-shirts, especially tech like all the time. So that was a really good creative outlet for me to kind of put together cute things, kind of like find my own style. Obviously in the beginning, I was so scared of posting because like you hear about all the haters, you hear about all like the cringe judgment and all those things. I was like, oh my God, like especially because I started with my personal Instagram account, I was like, oh my God, all my friends are gonna see this. Like even using hashtags was such a cringe moment for me in the beginning. But then as I started to get some positive feedback like people actually really liked my outfits and asked me where things were from, I got more of that confidence and I was like, oh, well, this is actually like providing value. People like what I'm doing. So what if it's cringe? Like, so what if people don't usually use hashtags? Like, I'm growing and this is how I want to put my content out there. And I think we'll end this on a happy note. What continues to make you happy every day? Honestly, the people in my life, and that includes you guys. Like, I love my friends and family so, so much. And all of you that I've been able to connect with, whether you're a creator or just an audience, like, every single person I've met is so nice. And I've learned so much from all of you guys. So I am super grateful. And just being able to do what I do, both in tech and on social media, being able to kind of live this, like, Hannah Montana double life that a lot of people have told me that I'm living in, is super cool to me because I love I love both sides and I would never be able to choose one. 
So hopefully one day I'll be able to blend my two interests and maybe start blending in some tech content. I don't know, we'll see. Okay guys, this is the end of the vlog, my very, very first vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to follow my socials here. I'm a lot more active on Instagram and TikTok, but I will be posting a lot more on YouTube starting now. Hope you enjoyed, bye!